and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be working with potatoes and spaghetti. You're probably thinking like, what are you talking about? Potato and spaghetti, that, that doesn't mix together. You're right. It's two different recipes out of one ingredient, one recipe that I have already made. Now, if you have not watched my video of my stuffed shrimp pepper, um, stop watching this and go watch that first. It's stuffed peppers that I had shrimp and um, crab meat in. And I made a variety of stuffing with it. And from that video, I had leftovers of the filling of what I filled the peppers with, which is shrimp, crab meat, spinach, broccoli. All those ingredients are going to be in that video. So please watch that video before watching this one to learn how to do this. In the meantime, let's get started with what we're gonna do with leftovers, okay? And this is basically what we're gonna do with the leftover. I'm gonna transform this, and then one of my biggest things that I always like doing is when I have leftover, I don't wanna eat the same thing the next day. I wanna kind of recreate it and make something different out of it. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. So I have my skillet here turned on, and I put in here, eight ounce of cream cheese. It's kind of melting already, okay? And I'm gonna let that heat up. Um, I'm also gonna add just a tiny bit to add moist of heavy cream here. And I'm just adding a little bit of moist to the cream cheese so it doesn't stick. I'm just kind of going around. And we will focus on this in a minute. We're gonna start with leftover meal number one. I have two for you. The number one is going to be baked potatoes. So I have already baked my potato. I olive oiled it and um, salted it, put it in the oven, and it's ready, and it's actually kind of hot. It's hot potato. Okay? So that's what we're going to do with that. The second meal is going to be pasta. I have already boiled my pasta, and it's actually um, coated in olive oil right now. So it, it's so it won't dry up since I have it sitting out. So if you don't want your pasta ever drying up and you already had drained it, um, coat it with olive oil and you're good to go. I don't like leaving it in the water. It expands and it kind of, I don't know, it just tastes mushy. There's a different way. You want your pasta to be al dente. So now we're going to focus right down here. So let me get down here. Okay, as you see, I have the cream cheese going and melting away and I want it very very um melted watery not watery but you know that it's not a block of cheese and, and it's looking really good right now I added a little bit of um the heavy whipping cream I'm also going to add just a tiny bit of sour cream not much just like a spoonful And mix it up. I'm going to add more Creole seasoning. I'm using Tony's Creole seasoning. And it's what I, what I had used for my, um, my recipe for the original filling. So I'm just going to put that in here. And I'm not going to add too much because my fillings are ready. Um, the shrimp and everything that we're going to throw in here, it's already seasoned pretty good. But I'm just kind of trying, you know, you always season every layer of your meal. So this is something that I'm going to season. The, I don't know if you can see the pretty color, the specks of the... So now that that's happening, I have my, my leftover out. And I'm just going to pour that in here.
and just mix it in. God, it still smells good. I love it. And basically just heat it up. Just heat it up and, and fold this in. You know, just mix it. Make sure everything's incorporated. I also have a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit right now, probably do half the cup for now. There we go. And mix. Look how creamy and pretty that looks. Taste it. I'll add a little bit more of the seasoning. I want a little more spice to it, a little more umph. Make sure this is on a good heat to heat it up. And I am going to shut the lid and let it bubble up. And we will be back when it is ready. Okay guys, it is bubbling and this is ready. If you wanna add more palm, you can. Um, I just tasted it and I don't think I need any more. The Parmesan's a little bit salty and I added more of that Tony's um, Creole seasoning. So I think in the flavor department, it's fine for me. Up to you if you wanna add more. So let's build our potato. So let's try to focus on the potato. Okay, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna take some of the juice first and just put it in there. You want that juicy in there. And we're gonna take the filling or that shrimp, look at that, in there. I, optional, you don't have to do it. I took some breadcrumbs and put some butter and kind of made a, a, a crumble. So I'm going to take the crumble and put it on top because I want that little crunch to it. I will add a little bit of parm. Actually, I'm gonna actually also grate some. We're gonna grate some parm because we want that melty cheese. Optional. If you don't want to use palm, you can use regular cheddar jack. Okay, I'm going to take this to the oven and we're going to put it on broil. Look what it looks like right now. We're going to put it on broil and see the results of that. Okay, guys, I took my potatoes out of the oven, my potato. And this is the final results. I'm gonna go add a little bit of um, scallions to it, optional. And that's it. That's all you're gonna do. And it's your baked potato. You got your shrimp in here, you got your sauce. It's nice and crunchy on the top. And you just eat your potato. And that is what you do with leftover number one. Okay, let's go to leftover number two, pasta. Easier, easy, easy, super easy. Basically, all you're gonna do is put your pasta in and mix it up. And you're just gonna fold the sauce in there. Look how good that looks. Mix it all in. I 
Don't know why I always like doing this, but I like to put breadcrumbs on it to thicken it up. And I have a thing about crunch. I don't know. And that's it. You just mix it in. It will thicken this up. If you want to add more Tonys, go ahead. If you want to add more color to this, add some paprika. And then the rest of your palm, you just sprinkle some palm. And my friends, you are done. Leftover meal number two. You got your, your Cajun pasta and you have your potato. Now, no, you don't eat this in one day. I'm just saying if you have leftover, you could choose which one you want to do. Um, you could either you want baked potato that day, you could do the baked potato. If you want pasta that day, you could do the pasta. So I am going to taste the baked potato. Because we gotta do taste test here. You know, I need to start having people over so they could do the testing for me and and be honest on camera, like my son did on the other video. Spicy. And I actually should remove this foil because all the juices are in there. I want it out. I want it on my potato. So, baked potato. You can add more sauce to it if you like. Um, if you're not making the pasta, you know, like drench it in sauce. And it's really, it's really good. So that's one. You know what I would add to this? A potato? Bacon. Bacon would really... Everything tastes better with bacon. It's missing that, that meat, that bacon to it. Optional. That's just me. I like bacon. You can even add bacon to this. But guys, this, that's it. What do you do with leftover? When you make too much of, of something, you become creative. Don't, don't eat the same thing the next day. I do that with when I make my ropa vieja, when I make my, my pork. Like, you just basically transform everything um if you have any suggestions or ideas or anything you want me to try to figure out uh, and create i'll be more than happy um thank you for watching please like this video if you like it and subscribe toodaloo have a good one. Oh my god i did not taste this and i'm tasting it right out of the pot and this is bomb. I need breadsticks. Soaking all that. All that saucy, yummy saucy. Yes, oh my god.